We just can't do nothing. Austin Johnson. And Asante Samuel. What an interception from the second year quarterback. We got Keenan and Mike Williams in single coverage. Can Mike get it? He gets it. All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to this Los Angeles Chargers Madden 23 franchise. I mentioned starting a franchise like at the beginning of my face of the franchise series. And some people said, do it on my favorite team, the Chargers. Uh, now, Madden start today, or whatever it's called, it's broken. It only starts from week one, it's similar to 2K. Um, so, as you can see by the standings, I got some teams right. Like, I got three out of the four teams in the AFC West right. But there are some teams that are, like, very, very wrong. Now, I could have just looked at the schedule, but that would have took way too long. I just kind of did it based off memory. And I made some mistakes, I guess, when I was just going through all of them. Some mistakes were made. Uh, so, the Broncos are 1-5. Other than that, the rest of the standings are correct. But if we go to view standings, you can see um, the Eagles are 6-0. and The Colts are 5-1. and Now, I will say you cannot force a tie in this game. Uh, but the Colts are 3-2-1, and I believe. But I don't know how I messed up this bad to make them 5-1. and one, But I did. It's fine. Vikings are 5-1. and one. That's the record in real life. Bills are 5-1. and one. That's correct. Don't know how I got the Patriots to 5-1. and one. I They've won five in a row, so I don't know how I messed that one up. Uh, Giants are 5-1. and one. That's also correct. Bucks are 4-4. Four and four. I mean, 4-2. Four and two. They are 3-3 three and three in real life. That's incorrect. Cowboys are correct. The Jags are incorrect. The Niners are incorrect. Jets are correct. Chiefs are correct. The Chargers are correct. And I believe everyone else is correct. I don't know if the I think the Ravens might be three and three, so the Ravens might be incorrect. But don't quote me on this. I don't know, but it seems about right to me. So we'll just roll with it. We'll just have teams like the Patriots and the Colts on the top of the world. Uh, so we are going to start. We are going to play this game against the Seahawks. I am going to play both offense and defense in this series. You won't see everything. I'm terrible at defense, so you might not see a lot of defensive possessions. Uh, but I guess we'll view weekly awards for that Broncos game. And uh, Derwin James with a pick six gets player of the week. And those are, oh, no, we also, no, okay. Those are our only players of the weeks. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. Choose draft class. I will import my local file, which is the current draft class with CJ Stroud and the boys. And we'll do, we, we'll see what we're going to do with the series. I don't know. Now, if you guys do like this series, be sure to leave a like and let me know in the comments if you want to continue uh, so one thing I will do is I'm going to keep salary cap on. Usually when I do this on my own, I shut it off because Madden salary cap is weird. It'll say you have a certain amount of money. Like it'll, you, you go to resign someone, it'll say you have the money. But once you go to resign them, you don't have the money all of a sudden. So I'll try and work around that. I mean, if I have to trade people, I have to trade people. It is what it is. We're going to be playing on all pro. I'm going to adjust the interception slider down because we all know how terrible that is. But if you go to player negotiations, who needs a contract? Bryce Callahan not resigning you. Kyle Van Noy, he wants 11 mil, 4 mil over two years. I might take that. I know he's 31. Drew Tranquil, I'm definitely resigning. I love Drew Tranquil in real life. And Nazir Adderley will also get a uh, new contract. Definitely, I want to keep Nazir Adderley. Uh, so we're going to, I want to give him a long term deal. So we're going to give him a four year deal worth. We'll give him a one and a half. I don't think he's going to accept this. Uh, so let's see. Okay, so it, okay, so does your Adderley accept that? We lock him down for the future. Kyle Van Noy, do I want to keep you for depth? You're kind of you're going to eat up a lot of our cap space. I don't want you eating up six million dollars of our cap space. Drew Tranquil, I'd like to keep you. Uh, you're going to eat up significantly less. Um, so I'll. I'll give you a little bit more on the bonus. Let's we'll see if he accepts that. Drew Twinkle is back. And I think those are the only re-signings I am going to do. Uh, yeah, there's no one really else for this season I'm going to re-sign. I may look to trade some players with high salary cap. We'll see. Uh, but let's go. Let's look at the team first. So looking at the offense, we already know Justin Herbert, who has an upgrade, is our quarterback. Oh, we chase Daniel right behind him. Austin Eckler, Isaiah Spiller, and Sony Michelle. We're going to move Michelle to the backup uh, like he is in real life. Keenan Allen, who should be hurt, but he will be back for the Seahawks game. Joshua Palmer and Mike Williams. Gerald Everett and um, Donald Parham. I'm hoping Parham can develop decently. Because I remember in Madden 22, I had him to an X-Factor when I did this on my own. 
Fitzgerald ever will be the starter. I'm hope maybe Barham will be the starter next year. We'll see. Uh, Trey Pipkins is the right tackle. Definitely a weakness for us. We have uh, I I forgot this guy's name. He we were, they were saying his name during the Broncos games. Zion Johnson got hurt. Uh, I hate Storm Norton in real life. Absolutely despise him. Uh, but he is the better player, so we'll put we'll slide him. Uh, Corey Lindsley, All Pro center. Matt Filer and Rayshon Slater caps out for the offense and the defense. Let's see here Adderley, Khalil Mack, Kenneth Murray, Andrew Tranquil, um, Joey Bosa, Derwin James. You already know this Chargers defense is pretty stacked. Not bad at all, uh, especially the corners. JC Jackson basically stole 86 mil from us. I'm not going to talk about it. Uh, kicker Dustin Hopkins just had an insane game. Kick return is DeAndre Carter, and the specialist is what it is. I guess we'll keep Keenan at the slot. Um, third down running back is um, Austin Eckler, which he is in real life. He plays all three downs. Um, I do not want our power back to be Josh Kelly. It will be Sony Michelle. Uh, but that is what it is. All right, so that, that is what our team looks like. I'm going to keep it as is. I might sign some free agents for depth-wise. Uh, but we're going to play this game against the Seattle Seahawks. And I uh, hope we can move to 5-2 and two on the year. We are here at SoFi Stadium, Chargers, Seahawks, ready to kick it off. LA Chargers coming off a win against the Denver Broncos and the Seahawks. I don't remember. <laughs> Justin Herbert looking to have a huge game. Let's see if we can get a dub. And onto the field comes Geno Smith. Let's see what he can do in this game. He's been really good in real life. They're going to run to start off. As I ran a blitz, but Kenneth uh, Walker, I, I almost said Kenneth Murray, is going to get a 15-yard gain on the play. All right, quick third down and eight for the Seattle Seahawks. I just realized we have Joey Bosa, who should also be injured, but I mean, there's not much I can do about that now. Uh, and he's going to complete a DK Metcalf, JC Jackson. Just a, I can't say left him open, but just lost that one on that play. And the Seattle Seahawks didn't get the first down. I also uh, use the D-line because I'm ass. So, there's this. <laughs> not much I can do there. And they're going to run it once again. And we're going to get a stop of two yards there on Kenneth Walker. Another third down and eight for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, we don't have Joey Bosa nor uh, whatchamacallit on the field. Khalil Mack as Noah Fant. Just went top rope and grabbed that one over Kenneth Murray. I was hoping he'd break it up, but I guess not. We got Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa back on the field, though, so that that's good. They're probably going to... No, they don't run it. Khalil Mack is going to get free, and he misses. He misses Geno Smith, who completes that one for a first down. And once again, what what, what defensive lineups are we uh, running here without... What you call without what? Uh, 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 Kenneth Walker gets to the one. Why? It, oh my God, bro! I wish I knew defense. Why was neither Joey Bosa or Khalil Mack in the game at that moment? I'm gonna use their Drew Tranquil here, and if they run, I'm gonna be ready for it. They ran. I was ready for it. He does. He's in the end zone, isn't he? He's not. Second and goal. Drew Tranquil here. I'm gonna use her him again. Let's see if we can get a stop here at the one. They're going to run it again. And Rashad Penny block sheds Khalil Mack and gets in the end zone. All right, Justin Herbert getting ready for his first offensive drive of the day. Let's see how the simulation has treated Justin as they show his stats here on the season. 1,600 yards, nine touchdowns, one pick. Then was very similar to real life. He has, I think, 15. Well, he's probably up to 1,900 now. Uh, 10 touchdowns and two picks on the season. So... Pretty damn close. Let's see how I ruin it for him. But we're going to start off with a run first with Austin Eckler. The Chargers are the uh, worst run team in the league, if not one of them. And we're going to start off with a decent run from Austin Eckler for three yards. Second and seven here. We're going to run pass and see if we can get a conversion here. I'm going to give it to Gerald Everett, who is going to beat Blitz boy Jamal Adams on that post route for a gain of 29. Got a first and 10 here after a few completions from Justin Herbert. Can we continue that streak? Going to give it back to Gerald Everett for a gain of about eight. I believe they give us seven. 
second and three. Three for three, 45 yards on the game for Justin Herbert. If 36 of those come from Jerry, whatever. Storm Norton is going to get a good block, but we do not get enough yardage there. Third and one, bringing Sony Michelle. Let's see if he can get the first down for us. Sony Michelle, he is going to be short. We're the Los Angeles Chargers. We're going for it. Fourth and inches. We got to go for it. Got to go for it. Sony Michelle, get us that first down. And he's going to do just that. Sony Michelle gets just enough. And we convert. We have Austin Eckler in the game. Keenan Allen is my primary target here. Can he get it? No, it's going to be Gerald Everett in the end zone. We're tying up the game seven apiece. Second and one for the Seattle Seahawks. I don't like Tyler Lockett out there, man to man with Asante, but they're going to run it anyways. And Rashad Penny is going to get in the end zone for his second touchdown. We can't do nothing on defense. All right, getting ready for a second offensive drive. Seattle has been killing us, mainly with the run game. Try and see. Keenan Allen is going to get open midfield. Herbert, 6 for 6, 88 yards, and a touchdown to start this game. You'll love to see it. We're going to stay with the passing game. We're going to run another play action for Keenan Allen. And let's see what he can do. He's He was open, but the pressure was too much. Keenan Allen in the end zone touchdown. I did not expect a touchdown on that play, but Justin Herbert threw a perfect pass to Keenan Allen right over the defender, right in his hands, and we once again have ourselves a tied game. We've reached a two-minute warning, and the Seahawks are just killing us on the offensive end. It's not looking good. As Khalil Mack was going to break free, but Geno Smith is just slinging the rock here. We, I can't stop him. I, this just shows how bad I am on defense. This is why I use the D-line. I can't do anything. As Austin Johnson is going to get to Geno Smith and get a sack. Much needed. Second and 17. If we can hold him to a field goal, I'll be very happy. Very, very happy. Uh, Khalil Mack, can he get to the quarterback? He does. But he completes it for a gain of six. Third and 12. Clock stops. Can we get a stop here? Force a field goal. Let's see. Oh, Joey Bosa on the edge. is going to in. Oh, did we get him? He got the first down. You got to be kidding me. I got the first and goal. Just bad, bad defense. Especially on that inside. We just can't do nothing. Austin Johnson. And Asante Samuel, what an interception from the second-year quarterback. Oh, my God. Please, please show a replay. I need a replay for that. What a pick from Asante Samuel. Geno Smith to the corner of the end zone. That's not realistic at all, but it's Madden. Gets both toes. Yep, that's a thumbnail, bro. That is 100% the thumbnail. We have 28 seconds left. Two timeouts, second and one, trying to get into at least field goal range because we get the ball at halftime. We got Keenan and Mike Williams in single coverage. Can Mike get it? He gets it. But there's a flag on the field. Will it be pass interference? It will be pass interference on the defense. We are at the two yard line, 21 seconds, and Austin Eckler can just run this bad boy in for his first touchdown on the day. He does not get it in. Oh, my God. Austin Eckler, bro. You had that in the bag, and you ruined it. All right, Keenan. This might be your touchdown here. Let's see. Keenan, he catches it. We take a one-possession lead. Keenan Allen in the end zone after a huge catch from Mike Williams. Chargers back up on top going into halftime. All right, in the third quarter, we have a first and 10 here at the Seattle 36. And Blitz Boy is going to leave Mike Williams in coverage, and it's a touchdown. You can't leave Mike Dub in single coverage. It's a touchdown every time. Mike Williams, his first score of the game. 
second big catch. Justin Herbert to Mike Williams. We're up 28-14 against the Seattle Seahawks. Oh my God. Asante Samuel, his second pick of the game. Another fantastic interception from the second year player. Asante Samuel right, reads the play beautifully. Gets both feet in and gives us the ball right back on offense. The defense is playing fantastic in the second half, forcing the second turnover of the game for the Seattle Seahawks. And Austin Eckler is going to get a big run there. Oh, he fumbled it. Another turnover by the Seattle Seahawks. Olahi Gilman, I believe, forced that ball loose on Kenneth Walker. And Drew Tranquil picks it up. Yes, that was indeed Olahi Gilman. And the offense is back on the field. This game is more than over. And I am just super simming the end of the game because it was indeed over. We're going to walk out victorious in this matchup against the Seattle Seahawks. That first half, it was looking a bit iffy. But we finish it. Gene, uh, Justin Herbert, perfect passer rating, four incompletions, 362 yards, and six touchdowns on the day. Geno Smith, 20 for 30, 270 yards, three interceptions. He was playing great until that first pick, and it all went downhill. No rushing touchdowns on the day for us. Rashad Penny gets two. They're only two touchdowns. Mike Williams, six catches, 155 yards, and a touchdown on the day. Keenan Allen had three, as you can see down there. Gerald Everett had one, and Joshua Palmer also had one. Defensive-wise sacks. Joey Bulls had a sack and a half. Tillery had a sack. Austin Johnson has a, had a sack. Khalil Mack had half a sack. Pick-wise, Sante Samuel, two interceptions. And Morgan Fox, a pick as we pick up a huge win against the Seattle Seahawks. And maybe if the Chiefs lose to the Niners, we will be first in the AFC West. And Austin Eckler does get an upgrade. We will upgrade his elusive back. He is going to move up to an 89 overall, 90 overall with the boost. Advanced week here. Let's see if the Seattle Seahawks, it will be our bye week actually. Not the Seattle Seahawks. Let's see if the Kansas City Chiefs drop their game to the Niners. And they indeed, if the Sims won the game. Okay, so we're still sitting second. It is what it is. Uh, who, I'm guessing Asante Samuel. Nope, Justin Herbert's player of the week. Uh, Matthew Judon is the uh, defensive player of the week. Uh, but Justin Herbert, well-deserved. That's going to be it for me. GG.